I get asked, how do you become a good personal trainer? Well, there's, there's many things. It would take a, a whole long video for me to go through everything. Stay to the end because I'm going to um, show you uh, some brilliant um, workouts that I've done for one of my long-standing clients, Claire, who I've done a couple of videos for on YouTube. So Claire and I have been working together for about three years. And so we get to know each other. But at the beginning, of course, we don't. Um, and so one of the th things you need as a personal trainer is to have empathy with your clients. You need to click and you need to click very quickly. So the best way of doing that is to find out what they like and find out what they don't like. Um, and then you can start off by and, and also find out what level of fitness they are. Because you don't want to have a brand new client and scare them off of doing exercises that you don't find difficult, but they might. So you start off slowly until you get to know them. And, and then you develop it from there. Just take it slowly. Introduce. I've got to introduce them uh, to different exercises that they haven't even thought of that are more challenging for them. Don't keep it at the same level week in, week out if it's long standing. But if you go all in um, immediately, you are going to scare that person off. I've got clients ranging from the age of 39 uh, and to Claire, who is currently 41, all the way up to 75. I'm not going to give the same exercises to a 39 year old and a 41 year old as I do to a 75 year old. And the 75 year old has done brilliantly, for instance. When we started in January earlier this year, uh, it was a group of three uh, people that I train. She uh, could, could barely do any press-ups. Now she can do 60. Okay, it's a standing against a counter, but it doesn't matter. It's progress. But I didn't get her to do that straight away. What I did is I we built up slowly. And that's the thing. So if you want to be a personal trainer, one of the things you've got to have is get to know your client straight away. Ask them about their history. What level of fitness are they? And, you know, and then and, and you've got to build a relationship with them. And the reason why I'm showing Claire is because we've worked together now for about three years. I know what she likes. I know I've, I've seen her confidence grow. I've seen her level of fitness grow. And it, it, it's, you know, it's it's great for me because I've helped her. But it's not down to me. Right. I'm just a guide because at the end of the day, your client is the one who is putting the effort in. Yes, I'm doing the planning and planning is another thing I'll talk about briefly. In um, But you've got to uh, help that person develop. What are their goals? What do they want to achieve? And what what is the big, big goal that they want to achieve? Uh, and, you know, it could be anything. So you've got to have empathy with your client you don't want to scare them off or and then you get a bad reputation saying he she is rubbish because blah 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 get to know your client if they are brand new to fitness you they ha you have got to start them off easy find out what they like find out what they don't and you will do some exercises that um, whether it's in the gym or in the park, like I'm going to show you um, Claire's workout in the park, uh, and there'll be some exercises that they actually detest, and they, you know, they give it a go once, and then they don't want to do it again. That's fine. You found out something, said right, we won't include that. But it might be the same as it. Oh yeah, it was okay, but it's not for. But then leave it for a while, and then go back to it. And a few weeks later, I said let's try that again. Right. They might be more stronger and more fitter and more used to doing exercise. And therefore, you know, they, they might enjoy it. I could go on and on and on and on. You know, I, I got my qualification at the age of 57. I'm 62 years old now. I've had quite a few clients. I manage a gym as well and I'm loving it. It's never too late to start. It's never too late to start. I am actually trying to persuade Claire to get her qualification, but uh, there's a bit of work to do there. But you know, have a look at Claire's workout, right? This is the one we do in the park because the gym we work, uh, we um, use uh, does not allow filming. So I can't do her gym workouts. So we did it in the park. I did an interview with Claire 
um, you know, more about her background, um, which uh, will be linked towards the end of the video. And um, yeah, have a go, have a go at this and, and have a look to see how I'm training Claire. Yes, she knows the exercises anyway, but it's lots of teaching points you need to go through, especially if they're brand new. Claire knows occasionally she gets it wrong, so I have to correct her. Yeah, because we got to know each other, I, 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 I know what level of fitness she is. If you if you want to be a personal trainer, you really need to enjoy it. You need to be a per people person and to get on with it. I know, Daniela, if you're watching this, um, that you've talked about it in the past. I hope you do because you are a great role model to do that. Have a look at some of Claire's workout to see what she can do. And then I will see you at the end. And left hand. Right hand, left hand, right hand. It's very bright here today. Uh, well done. Hey, mate, turn. Yeah, she's just uh, doing dynamic stretching to warm up. We've had a bit of a, got her heart rate up. All right, are you ready to go? Yeah. Right, let's go for it. That's it. So what Claire's doing here, she's working her back muscles and her biceps. Just using the TRX suspension trainer. I've lost count, Claire, so hopefully you have. All right, this is an excellent exercise. Bodyweight exercise using the suspension trainer. It's still resistance training. Good, keep going, keep going. So we've just worked the back, so now we're gonna work, work the chest. Bodyweight again, but this is great for the chest, shoulders, arms, and also the core as well. It's still resistance training. Claire is very strong, very advanced, but you can adjust the level to your own level. That's it, keep going, keep going, keep going. Good. Keep going. Well done. Where do you feel that? My triceps. <laughs> triceps, yeah. 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 It's good though, isn't it? Very good. Very yeah. good. Yeah, good. Go, whenever you're ready. So we're now doing two-handed swings, right? So this is 18 kilograms, which for Claire is actually quite light. All right, give me 20, Claire. I mean, we have in the gym, we've got, uh, we've done 20 reps at 28 kilograms. And I say Claire is very strong. Okay, oh, by the way, the date today is the 19th of November. That's it, keep going. This is a powerful exercise. Resistance training again. Well done. How feel there? Yeah, that was surprisingly tough. Surprisingly tough, even though it's 10 kilograms lighter than yeah. you've done before. <laughs> Yeah? Feeling it already? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, good. Well, we haven't been to the park for a long time, so it's a bit different than what we're used to. Oh, yeah. Sense. So, here's another bodyweight exercise. As Claire's going to do, 10 press-ups. All right. I'm going to get your form right. Press-ups are great for the chest, great for the shoulders, great for the arms, and great for the core as well. Well done, Claire. Keep it going. Keep it going. Well oh, done. How was that? Yeah, it was okay. I'm not a fan of press-ups. No, no. When I first started this, like, my goal was to be able to do five, and I can do a lot more than that now. Yeah, and that was on your knees? Yes, indeed. And that's all. what it's all about, progress. I mean, we've been doing, we've been working together now for what, oh, oh three years-ish, something, yeah, like something like that. Yeah, something like that. Good. Give me 20 if you can. And so this is another great exercise. Resistance training again. Well done. This I have a number of these bands, but different resistances. Well done, Claire. Working the shoulders, working the legs, working the core even, working the arms. Well done. Keep it going. Brilliant work. Oh yes, that's it. Well done. Whoa, tough. Very. Yeah. yeah. And what's the resistance on that on that one? Does it say it on there? 25 to 65 what was that, sorry? 
25 to 65 pounds. Yeah, well, there you go. That's a lot. Well done, Claire. So we're doing another chest exercise here. Right, if you can give me 20, Claire. So another type of resistance band. Just need an anchor point. These are my Fitbeast uh, resistance bands, which I've done a review on. Well done. Go in. Whoa. Whoa. Tough. Tough. Yeah. Whoa. How was that? That was a killer. <laughs> That's a killer. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Really yeah, tough. it's good though, isn't it? Yeah. I don't think we've done that for, oh, I don't know. Oh. Uh, over a year. Yeah. Over a year. All right. So this is our second round. So I say I'm not recording everything. 20 if you can, Claire. What Claire needs to do is find her own level. The closer her feet are to the basketball post, it makes it more difficult. Good. Well done. Oh, yes. I'm glad you've got sunglasses. On oh, me, being an idiot, I forgot. Good. This is a really tough exercise. Might not look it. It's tough, isn't it? It is tough. Yeah. yeah. And this ch the new, uh, chest press is probably even tougher. <laughs> Straight into it. Well done. Good. Well done. Good. Keep it going. 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 That's it. Well done. Well done. Go, oh, look at that groan in there. <laughs> Starting to fatigue now. How was that? Tough. Yeah? I'm sure I don't normally do 20 of those. Oh wow. Oh wow. Who cares? Right, and now we're going to go back to the two-handed swing on the kettlebell. This is really a powerful exercise. This is a superb exercise. So you notice her stance, and notice how uh, Claire is swinging, all right? She's not going above her head. That's a different exercise altogether. All right, she's just got her knees slightly bent. She's not squatting. That's a different exercise altogether again. But it's working well, virtually every single muscle in the body. Come on, Claire, keep it going. Yeah, good. Well done. Oh, how was that? Yeah, it was all right. Yeah, Lots you like that one though, don't you? I do, I do like the kettlebell you swing. You do like the kettlebell swing. Okay, good. So let's go and do some press ups. Yay, your favourite. <laughs> you, you love them, don't you? Yeah, love to hate them. Yeah, yeah. Not a favourite exercise of Claire's, but you're going to do them anyway. So notice she can do them off her knees. She's advanced so much, you know, she wanted to do five on her knees when we started. Keep it going. Well done. Yeah, you love it really, don't you? No words. <laughs> yeah, you do. Okay, good. And need squat for us. It's very different. We haven't done this kind of thing for a while. Normally we use weights in the gym, um, but you know, it's, it's good to have a bit of variety. Good. That's it. Well done, Claire. I'm done. You're done. Yeah. How many did you get? Ten. Yeah. It's, it's harder than it looks, and it's quite a tough resistance, yeah? It is, yeah. Yeah? Definitely. But you, you've definitely got a lot stronger, haven't you? Oh, yeah, yeah, without question. Yeah, yeah. okay. And then we're going to go over to the uh, the flies as well. If you manage 20, brilliant. If you can't, we're going to have a, go and have a coffee in a butterfly box, that's called. Fantastic place. That's it. If you can give me 20, give me 20. <laughs> I do punish her. 
That's it. Breathe. <laughs> and this is the thing when you're exercising, you must breathe. Uh, ideally, you exert when you're um, uh, doing the actual exercise. So when Claire's coming forward, she should be exerting her air. Oh. Oh, how many did you get through then? 20. Oh, well done. Yeah, how are we feeling? Tired. Tired? <laughs> but good. All right, yeah. grab some water if you brought some. Did you bring some water? Oh, yeah, anyway, we're going to have to come off here. Some some uh, boys decided they wanted to play basketball. At 9.30 in the morning on a Saturday, we were shocked. That's yeah. leave. So we're going to go in and move off so that they can play basketball. And then we're going to... Um, go on the grass it's a bit wet and damp but uh happy with that yeah yeah right so let's go so another way you can do so claire's going to do uh rows with a tough resistance band she's just going to go to failure which is another way of um you know pushing yourself to the limit well done claire keep it going that's it well done whoa Good, keep it going. I have lost count, Claire. How many have you done? 25. Oh, 25, yeah, that was tough. Yeah. So, one thing about you is you do have a bit of a weaker right forearm, don't yes, you? Yes, I do, yeah. I'm uh, left handed, so I yeah. don't think that helps in a way, but no, it's. Uh, it fatigues a lot more easily. So um, one thing I've noticed like when we're doing bench press is that you, um, we were doing them yesterday, weren't we? We were. And your uh, right arm or weaker arm was so like, always lower uh, than your left arm. Yeah. I mean, we do manage it, don't we? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and um, you've got the hand gripper. Yes. Uh, which uh, has helped you. It has helped, yeah. And it's not, generally it's not too much of a problem, just uh, over several workouts as the week wears on, it tends yeah. to get a bit more tired. Yeah, yeah, but we manage it, don't we? And that's the whole thing about it. If you've got um, a problem like that, it's managing it. Yeah, okay. Ready to move on? Yep. Feeling strong? Yep. Good. Claire's going to do ab wheel roller, right? This is a really great exercise for the core, but Claire's core is very strong. We've worked on it a lot, although we never actually do sit-ups. So keep going. She can actually do it standing up for a few reps. which is even harder. Good, well done, Claire. That's it, well done. How are we feeling? Okay. Oh, going out all the way. Going out all the way. That's it. A few more. Good. One more. And rest. Oh, how was that? Yeah, tough. Uh, yeah, different doing it on a different surface as well, but... Uh... Yeah, because um, recently we've been doing it in the gym. Um, so, you know, a, a proper gym floor, but this is like gravel floor. So Claire's now doing, we've done a two-handed swing, now we're doing the one-handed swing. All right, um, I've reduced the weight somewhat, but this is more challenging on the core. So she's going to do 15 each side. But again, resistance training. Good. And in a minute, once she's done 15, she's going to swap hands and do exactly the same on the other side. Good. Okay, well done. Well done, Claire. Keep it going, keep it going. Oh, yes! Yeah. How do you feel with that? Yeah. Does you find it a lot tougher than the two-handed? Yeah, tougher, yeah. Feels like it's working me. Yeah, harder. Harder, yeah. Well, that's what it's all about. Good, well done. One of our favourite exercises is a goblet squat. Again, great for the legs, 
and give me 30 Claire this again this 18 kilograms is quite light for Claire because she has done it with 32 kilograms this particular exercise great for the legs again resistance training you can see how deep she's squatting and I'm going to ask Claire a, a question very soon when I interview her to tell us what's the most she's ever done a back squat with you'll be surprised that's it keep going Claire well done that's it great work great work well done how was that yeah, it's okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. A lot of reps, though. A lot of reps, but, uh, well, I've got to because it's, uh, for you, it's uh, yeah. a light weight. Yeah. Would you agree? Yes. Yeah. But you never, I mean, when we last came to the park, I mean, I think we probably didn't even do 18 kilograms of a goblet no. squat. No. And, uh, yeah, so, there you go. Four, five, six, seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty so what claire's doing now is sprinting so sprinting is actually a brilliant exercise that's it keep going claire's not really a sprinter as such about the same as me. That's it, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. That's it. Good. That's it, keep going. Right, and when you go back, I want you to pick the kettlebell up and I want you to do 15 two handed swings. Really pushing her now. Well, this is what the benefits of being strong and fit and healthy that's it well done keep going well done and when you've done that sprint again so we're doing a bit of, a bit of circuit training sprint again well done yes. keep going And then go back and do two-handed swings again, 15. You thought you were going to have it easy today, didn't you? <laughs> Good. So the final, final exercise, we're going to cool it down a bit now. And then we're going to have a bit of an interview with Claire. Good. Here we go in. Oh, how are you feeling? <coughs> oh, but a good tired. Do you need a drink of water? How are you feeling after that? My core is there. Uh, On fire. Yeah. 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 Good. Okay. So we're going to pause it there. Right. We're going to go and get a, a drink from the. The butterfly box over there and we're going to interview Claire and tell her about her um, her life in exercise and fitness okay happy with that yeah absolutely right, right. good so there you go that was uh, Claire's workout that we did in a park in um, November um, so I, had, I do have my own kit and if you are uh, going to be a personal trainer and you don't want to work in a gym then you really need to invest in your uh, and the kit that you can use for your clients if you would like and um, now i uh, claire wasn't always into exercise or anything like that and you can find out all about claire's uh, background in this video here please like subscribe and thank you for supporting my channel and i will see you again soon